Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are joined by Barbara Captain AC, mm. Heritage Library. Absolutely. Coolest, one of the coolest places in Hilton it Head. It is. It's it's kind of one of those little hidden gems on Hilton Head, and we like it. It's for hungry brains. Absolutely. You know, and people love that immersive vacation experience. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is a great place. There's so much history, like unbelievable, unexpected history yep. here on Hilton Head. A um, couple of things that are coming up, Ghosts and Myths, Halloween tour coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. When does it start? Tell us about it. We do this annually, and it's basically a, it's, you know, a little bit history, a little bit Halloween, lots of fun. You're greeted by, by a witch, and we tell the story of the Blue Lady, and you'll meet some of the ghosts of the folks who lived here during the colonial period, and you'll hear lots and lots of tales about things that we think happened on Hilton Head. Oh. Okay, so yeah, so a little bit, you know, a little bit history, a little bit myth. Um, but lots of fun. So, I mean, you know, lots of stories, lots of characters. We do two shows nightly starting October 22nd and running through the 24th, okay. 7 o'clock and 8.30. Tickets are available on our website. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably smaller this year yes. than it has been in the past. So anybody yes. interested in this, you better get on it, right? Better sign up because we yeah. do have to control crowds. We are going to ask folks to wear masks and mm -hmm. things like that. Even though it's outside, it's yeah. out at Zion Cemetery. So even if it's outside, we want to make sure that folks can you know, hear the ghosts and meet the ghosts right. and talk with the ghosts. So, um, and still social distance and again, be as safe as possible when we do this. Mm -hmm. And how many people total are you going to be able to take? Uh, we'll probably be doing about 20, 25 people yes. at each of the performances. Yep. Yes. Definitely get in there. Yep. Yeah. Get in there get tickets those tickets. Are, t the good news is tickets are going fast. And, and is there a cost? There is. With it? Okay. Um, tickets are fifteen dollars for adults, ten dollars for children. Totally reasonable. Not really recommended for children under ten because we it's don't want, we don't want to frighten children. Right. And, and like I said, this isn't scary, but it's spooky. Yeah, yeah some of those things that you don't, mm -hmm. kids don't need to be thinking about just yet. Right. They'll get there eventually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get there eventually. Absolutely. So one of the other really cool things that you all do is ancestry programs. Right. And that's kind of been a big thing. You know, you can submit your DNA, you can mm -hmm. find out about stuff. So tell us about what we can do there and how, how you all can be a resource. Sure. Anybody who's interested in starting to build out their family tree or, find, or learn a little bit more. And even if you're a beginner or into advanced, we've got a number of experienced genealogists. They're all volunteers. Make an appointment. They'll spend some time with you. They'll take you through the programs. We have a number of databases on our library computers. So you may not have all of this information at home. You might have you know, one software program that you, can, that you can do some searching with, that kind of thing. But we have several. And we have access to some things, library versions. So they may not be the same version as you have at home. And we have the folks who volunteer and guide you through this process. And anybody who's done this knows they run into roadblocks, okay? All of a sudden, yeah. you, you're lost. But, you know, the, the wonderful volunteers that we have will help you through that so that we can get you past that roadblock and your search can oh. continue. And why I think this is so important to use a resource like this is that it's pure mm -hmm. information. Because Absolutely. if you go to Google and you're searching things up, that's used as a as a, a, a method of you know sending you stuff to to buy, right? right? <laughs> so there, then there's this distraction. You're just trying to go somewhere, you know, and and figure some stuff out. So uh, and then you're you know randomly getting these ads, you know, about how to make a family tree. You know? So using that with you all, I think, is just mm -hmm. you know now are people coming in person or is it like a Zoom appointment? Or? We uh, right now we're still doing in person. Um, same kind of precautions. We, we limit the number of folks in the office. Um, we have set up two different stations in the library so that you can look at big screens and be distanced from the researcher and you don't have to be too close. Yeah. Everyone needs to wear masks. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we're all used to this now. But again, we're trying to be as safe as we possibly can, but still provide a service. And we will start to do this using Zoom. Um, it's just a matter of getting everybody used to, you know, our genealogists are used to doing it this way. And now all of a sudden learning we've got curve. to, yep. I mean, just the, 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 the basic learning curve, which is also going to eventually 
help you all grow, right? just in a different way. And family trees are great Christmas gifts. Oh yeah, perfect. And speaking of Christmas gifts, you all are gonna be doing this author program and we're running right. tight on time, but okay. real quickly, can put a pin in it and we'll come back because I'm sure you're gonna be here before then. But Absolutely. authors, they're gonna be selling their books. We're gonna be right. doing readings online. Absolutely, historic holidays on Hilton Head Island goes virtual this year. So author chats, storytelling, some cooking demos, just kind of really fun holiday things, things that tell us about Christmas in the Low Country or and holidays in the Low Country. It's not just Christmas. Right. It's all about all kinds of holidays. And, and I think people are looking for significant gifts. Right. You know, we've all gone through this period of time where we're reassessing things and a gift like that, a little piece of that real piece of, of the of the, the Low Country. Absolutely. And kind of bringing it home, local authors talking about the books that they've written. And most of those books are about Hilton Head. So it's a great gift. Perfect. Well, we will, it's always so good to see you and spend some time with you. And at Heritage Library, Barbara Catanese, Executive Director. Nice to see you. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.